everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher. Here right, how's to give sound you now? a closer look is, into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at I just changed it because NVIDIA, the RTX voice could be messing up. Miss. So without further ado, let's get started. Still a glitchy robot? What the hell? All right, how about this? Hey, now. What's up? Think positively, all right? We talked about this. I know. Yo, is this uh, stream kind of pixelated to y'all? Sounds perfect. Cool. Some story beats. Okay. Mother Miranda, I regret to inform you that Ethan Winters has escaped that fool Heisenberg. What? Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. Bro, why can't Ethan just, just catch a break? No. Mother Miranda? Yes, of course. I understand the importance of the ceremony. I won't. You're about to get sacrificed? Hey, can you say sacrifice? Arianjin. Arianjin. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. Okay, there were some twins. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. Clearly, it's R.E. Oh man, them scarecrows, and crucifixes. Okay, I'm liking the graphics. You know, them good gun graphics. Are we back to kind of normal-ish looking zombies? Like some RE4 type shit. Locust, so Bug Lady maybe back? You're about tall as hell, ain't you? Oh, oh, they're, they're different Bug Ladies. Oh, those like Locust Ladies. There's a giant bat. That was just Chris. No, Chris. Wow. You are massive, lady. <laughs> Excuse me. What? <laughs> what? <laughs> oh my God! What did we just see? That was Who that the was fuck nuts. Are you? Let's see what you're really made of, Ethan Winters. <laughs> oh, people got telekinesis now, or something. What even, what even did we just watch? Someone explain that to me, please. That was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order Like, this uh, thing? we saw Chris, Ethan's still the main protag. This dude had telekinesis. Hey everyone. I'm Pete Fabiano, producer on Resident Evil Village. Uh-huh, okay. When we first announced Resident Evil Village back in June. We only mentioned PlayStation 5, Xbox Series X. Come to the Switch. PC. I'm happy to announce we've been working hard to bring the survival horror. Oh, that'd be crazy. Don't don't put it on the Switch. It, it chug. Resident Evil Village will also be coming to PlayStation 4 and Xbox One day and date with next gen. The PS4 okay. version can be upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. And smart and delivery, that's pretty One dope. Version gives you free access to the game on Xbox. Wait, so Series does Chris X. become a Windigo? Smart delivery. It's also my pleasure to tell you exactly when you can get your hands on the game. Okay, when? Resident Evil Village will be available worldwide. Damn, in May? On May 7th, 2021. In May? That's with actually pretty damn soon. Kicking off today. You can pre-order it today, cool. Edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, we have the Digital Deluxe Edition, available on all platforms. Uh-huh. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game Save room music, max difficulty. That's going to be broke. Uh, ball There's energy. also a collector's edition. Oh, yeah. I just saw something about Ethan. That includes all the deluxe edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield, a steelbook case, poster, and art book. And for those okay. of you who haven't played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil 7 Biohazard Bundle. Ooh, this lets you get 7 and 8. award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to of get course. your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory 
and their survival resource pack, which will offer additional support during the first few hours of That's so dumb. No. Finally, digital pre-orders from the PlayStation Store. Really? Just, just PlayStation? PlayStation? Come on. Just PlayStation? You can't just do pre-orders for everybody. Right. Sony had to show off that money to get that this. soundtrack. It's time for the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside Ooh. this first look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Let's take a look. Oh yeah, yeah, we finally get some gameplay. Oh yeah, world premiere. Now we're here we're back to give an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Birdman hand rub, let's go. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard, you'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. Mm-hmm. You'll make your way from the village to the castle. Players will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. What the As hell, yo? Resident Evil Village keeps the first-person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Only PlayStation, no Xbox or PC. That's what I'm saying. Like at least, at least throw it on the other platforms with the soundtrack and stuff. That's the least they could do. I am liking the way this game looks though so far. I like the aesthetic of it. You'll see a lot it's, of it's those back in a giant mansion life. doing crazy mansion puzzles. Yeah, similar vibe to four. I know, right? That's why I'm like kind of hoping they do a the four team remaster. Put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. From Give me some VR in this. Let's go. Everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. The reflections. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. Uh, these two weirdos? Expect, a warm welcome's not really what's in store for Ethan. Ethan, bro, you just got shoved to the ground. Oh my god, he can't keep body parts. Bro got his hand cut off at one time, now he gets a sickle to the leg. Now, let's take a look at him. And she is wow. massive. Well, Ethan Winters, you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. Pose. Hit him with the pose. I love it. I'm loving Shifting this so far. We're finally going to show off some combat. Cool, cool. We got random, regular Zomzoms, random Zomzoms, not those goopy boys anymore. It's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. I know, right? Ethan can still just guard. Yo, you got a chainsaw? I could block it with my hand. Let's go. What's up, Geek? How's it going, homie? Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of Alex fighting. Wesker and that so white ground rich. Oh, snap. Defeat them. Ooh. Ooh. Can you block that? Everyone knows what to do with red barrels, right? Bro, you missed that first shot so badly. Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident Evil 4. This time around, we've added crack. Oh, this is a thousand percent just first leaning in the four. Oh, you better There's also finagle your way in this and Tetris. Excuse me? How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. This what do you want? The Duke. Come on now. What do you want? Where's my boy? What do you want? I need that guy back. We're a nice Resident Evil 4 vibe. I'm loving wanted it. wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. He's an interesting fella. <laughs> this is slashing everything with a knife. Smash away with your trusty knife. Does it break? Oh no, streams! There's plenty oh, there of items to find in your trap. Just an herb in a vase, you know? Wait, do you hear that? And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main ones. A goat? Oh, that's that's gonna be creepy. Of course, it goes without saying that there'll be plenty of puzzles to solve. Of course, creepy mansion forward. has to have puzzles. 
Oh, and uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Can they just pop back in? Are they like, uh, what's his name in, in Seven? Ew. Ew. Oh, that's nasty. Oh, get Buck Lady off you, bro. What are you well, doing? That's one way to end the video. Oh, now throw that hole in the garbage. Store for Resident Evil Village. Let's take a look at the exclusive PlayStation Five demo. Really? Demo? Only on PlayStation Five? Sony's just throwing away money around still, man. That's crazy. I'm all right. Those witches are creepy. For Escape demo, the dungeon. Players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Unlike the actual uh -huh. game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. It's more exploratory for this PS5 exclusive demo. Man. That's one thing I hate about gaming now. The big companies just throwing their wallet around, just like, hey, yo, let's uh get this exclusivity going, you know? Oh, We're you want a demo? No, that's only over here. Feel for the visuals and hate that. As they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle. And you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5. <laughs> you have a PS5 yeah. and even you don't agree with of that? Course, I know, right? We want as many people as possible to get a chance to play. So we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms ready for sometime this spring. Bullshit. That is bullshit. I know, right? Why this not PS4? This is how they try to push you to get the new franchise. system. That's, that's exactly the what they're doing. Because you see, it's only coming to the, the, the current, the new current gen shit. Since then, the series has and um, well beyond the, realm of video the games. old current gen stuff, PS4, Xbox games, One, all that CG stuff. Movies, the release date's films. not even Resident announced Evil for those yet. It's just coming at a later date. So they're really pushing you to get the new console. Resident Evil continues to offer surprises around every corner. So let's pass it along. Speaking of, I played some, I played the Monster on the Rise demo. A while ago, uh, the day it came out, I played some. I might play some more before. We started like, inviting uh, players to join. A I might play some more in the, the no, the stream. Won't happen but. until later next week, but I want to use this chance to reveal more details. With the 25th anniversary of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd, uh huh. We are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. All right, what are we getting? Last September, we showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind that. Let's take a look. World premiere, let's go. Um, this ain't no Telltale series, is it? It's all cell shaded. Reverse, what? 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 This ain't no battle royale, is it? Is this a battle? Is this is this a battle royale? Okay, we got all the villains, got all the pro tags. Resident Evil, yeah, just reverse. reverse what the hell is this? One of the ways we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise. It's all cell shaded. So many of the characters that fans love. Got hunk. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases Resident Evil Village. So what's be the point sure of it? Follow the Resident Evil social channels for the latest news. And check out the official website. What, what's for the point of even this? more details? Now it's the same as Strax. I know, right? Team up. Because yeah, a lot of this stuff looked crazy, right? A lot of this stuff was nuts. Hey everyone, thank you so much for joining us today. The characters are gonna be Evil wild. Series. The characters are just I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher. Taking it up a notch, you definitely. A this is so like in the vein of, of RE4. Evil we'll be things off with this was uh from the, the item the management to so, the ado, uh, merchant. Started. You're happy it's on PS4? I know, right? It's eventually coming to PS4, but it's just like they didn't give us a solid date of it. And this is this is a great think positively, all right? Great RE4. Uh, we talked about this. Essence, I'd say. 
It has a good. It has the essence of RE4. So it's probably gonna be a lot more actiony than uh, scary at this point. I mean, it's still gonna be creepy as hell because I'm bug ladies, but. But yeah, it's it's uh, it looks really good. It looks pretty interesting too. The story is gonna be convoluted though. Like, still screwing with Ethan, still uh, still dealing with Chris. We don't know what the heck. Do we know when seven and eight take place? Is that after everything? Uh, canonically, is it after everything? Because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle. When I find him. Like, who is she talking to? No. That's the real... Like, who is this Miranda? Yes, of course. I understand the importance of the ceremony. Why I Ethan specifically? Why are you so big, lady? These are the questions I need answered. This stuff is crazy. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. I got the, got the bug ladies, the all these. The puzzles are going to be amazing. Oh, I'm hoping these puzzles are fantastic. I love mansion puzzles. Because you got to go, you know, halfway across the planet to unlock a door that you ran into in the beginning. And then once you get through that, you got to find a gem to slide in a golden's face. And I'm like, oh my god. Oh, then you have the shadow puzzles. Oh, I'm like, come on. These things are outlandish. These things are way too crazy. Big beautiful zombie, pretty much. I don't even know if you call these zombies anymore. Like Chris stole your daughter. Like this girl is massive. Look how big she is. There you are. <laughs> BBZs. Oh man. I'm talking, but that's probably a category somewhere. Like, she looks pretty cool. I'm into. Uh, I'm into what's going on. I really want to know about Who the this. Fuck are uh, you? This guy here, the telekinesis dude. Let's see what you really made. Like here, how you do do not fit in RE. <laughs> you do not fit in RE. There's no way. Why 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 do you have mind powers? That's all I really want to know. <laughs> like it's so dumb. That was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Like, when can I pre-order this thing? Perhaps producer Pete Fabiano has some answers for us. Let's see what but he yeah, has the gameplay say. looks solid. The um Hey everyone. All right. I've been waiting for this. I know you've been waiting. The fact that you you have to have a PS5 to play this demo is kind of bullshit to me. But whatever, throw your money around, I guess. But yeah, like the, this showcase was pretty hot. It has some pretty interesting things. The games are interesting. Are they going to Alice on us? I don't think they are. That one I don't think they're going to do. I'm hoping not. Because I wouldn't like it. I really wouldn't like it. But yeah, this, this is going to be pretty dope. I'm, I'm excited for it. It comes out in May. So we get it really soon. And uh, hopefully we get the demo for everyone else in the next few weeks. Because if we don't, there's no point in releasing the demo. If we don't get the, the demo by the end of February, I'd say, maybe the beginning of March, there's no point in putting the demo out. Because I give you two months to get more hype up. And as people started forgetting, they'd be like, oh, man, the demo's out. Let's check it out. And PS4 and Xbox One and PC owners can be like, cool, let's check this demo out finally. Really didn't expect a release date? I mean, it was coming in 2021. They had to. They had to. They had to give us something. Whole point is regular humans being badasses against horrors? Yeah, it is. Uh, but is anyone really a regular human at this point? Ethan can take a rocket to the hand and be fine. Chris punches boulders and jumps out of helicopters and is probably a werewolf at this point. I don't think there's anyone normal left. Probably besides Leon. Is Leon still normal? I'm pretty certain he's just an old, not an even old dude. He's in his like 30s now. He's just done. But yeah, that that was a good that was that was a good showcase. I'm I'm hype about it. The game's gonna be great. I'm hoping the game's gonna be great. From what little we shot, from what little we saw, the game looks great. Ungodly boulder punching, definitely.